goal setting. You can use this workshop to hold it down for the internet. Guys, I listen to a little bit about goal setting. Um, I'm trying to make my own, but just, I was kind of pressed for time, but this looks pretty good. Okay. You don't have to read it, read it, but just kind of follow this. All right, first of all, what's New Year's resolution? Basically the goal for next year, okay? I'm not saying New Year's resolutions are wrong, but here is the thing about it. Sometimes that's the only time people set a goal, and you know about 1% of New Year's resolutions actually get accomplished, okay? And part of the reason is, is because of the fact that they're not set goals eventually. Does that make sense? You set goals constantly, it's kind of like a skill. You get stronger at it, you get better at it, and then you achieve more goals. Okay? For those who just set a goal on January 1st, it doesn't last long, that's the only time of the year they set goals. Okay? If you constantly do it, you're constantly trying to get better at that, then it comes about. Okay? So let's talk a little bit about specific about goals and the rights of that. Okay, first thing he says is don't just think it, ink it. And what that's trying to say is this. A goal that's in your mind is only an idea. When you put a goal out on paper, it kind of sends a thing, uh, a notice to the universe, so to speak, that hey, I have intentions of getting this. It kind of makes it more definite to you, okay? And this quote is real, real important. Anyone know who Napoleon Hill is? I don't really expect you to. He wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich. It is the second most selling book ever next to the Bible. Bible is number one, Think and Grow Rich is number two. And what he did was, anyone remember learning about Andrew Carnegie? Andrew Carnegie was one of the most influential men in America around the steel time. When the steel corporations were coming up around the you guys remember that time? Uh, hopefully it's next year. Anyways, so anyways, Andrew Carnegie had access, obviously influential people to other influential people, right? The president of a lot of influential people, right? Okay. He let this guy Napoleon Hill interview all these successful people, millionaires or people that have just reached a lot of people, made a lot of difference in the world. And based upon what he learned from those people, he learned patterns and habits and actions that all these people took in common. And he wrote a book on it called Thinking Grow Rich. Does that make sense? It's helped a lot of other people become millionaires and successful people. All right, and so he says, reduce your plan to write. The moment you complete this, you will have definitely given concrete form to the intangible desire. So basically, just make it that idea concrete. Idea concrete. Does that make sense? Suspend reality. Fellas, remember when you were young, you had your G.I. Joes, your Ninja Turtles, whatever you played with, I don't know. And you would just come up with the craziest stories and the ideas. And these G.I. Joes would be attacking these G.I. Joes, but here comes the airplanes that take them out. The, uh, 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 uh. Right? Come on, fellas, don't act like you never did it. Never? You just played basketball. Yes, I Okay, okay. So, remember when you would go and you'd watch a game, Tim Duncan the Spurs, and you'd go in your driveway and imagine you were them doing it? I imagine they did the last one. Perfect. Perfect. You understand what I'm going with this here? you got to be willing to use your imagination for goals. See, as we get older, this world likes to give us a lot of small talk and small thinking. How oh, you can't do that. One of the girls in there wants to be a composer for an orchestra. That's huge. That's a big goal, isn't it? And a lot of people, she tells a lot of people, they laugh at her and tell her, you're not going to do that. This world has a lot of small thinkers, a lot of negative thinkers. And they want to bring you down, and then it becomes a habit of everybody to think like that. You've got to be willing to think above and beyond that. Does everyone understand that? Okay. The well, first thing we're going to do is kind of brainstorm. We're just going to dump ideas on paper. You may come up with 25 goals you want to reach. It's okay. You're not committed to all that. Get all your ideas out so you can look back and pick the top three. So we got that? Think big, kind of same thing we just talked about, flip it over. Okay, stay in the positive. A lot of people think one day someday, right? Oh, one day I'm, I'm going to bench 300 pounds, someday I'm going to, instead of setting a goal in a deadline. Every goal you write, I want you to write in the positive. Maybe Neil has a dream to be point guard for his first. So he says, I am the starting point guard for the Spurs instead of one day I will be. Does that make sense? Because what that does is train your brain and your mind to think like that. 
and it will start looking for those things in your life to draw and attract you towards it. Now, just because he thinks like that today doesn't mean next week he's taking it towards his proper spot. But it starts getting him in line with training. He starts thinking about the habits that are important to him to build that kind of level. Does everyone got that? Alright. Here's the other thing. Some of you maybe have already experienced this, maybe not. Now you get to the age where you get to high school or close to it, and you start to think about what your career is going to be, and your family starts thinking about that, your parents especially, because it's their responsibility to help you in that. Sometimes they impose their wishes for you upon you. Does that make sense? Like they set your goals for you. Who's had that situation? No, the only person. You've never had your parents want something for you that you didn't want. <laughs> no, nah, maybe not completely. You're not trying to completely run your life in that level. That's something. There's been something, right? Your mom thought it would be really cute if you did this, or your dad thinks it would be the greatest if you were a young man that could do blah, 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 right? Okay, so when you write your goals, make sure they're yours. That's what they need to be, because you know what? You're going to do the work, you're going to do the planning, you're going to build yourself for the character that needs that. Does everyone understand that? I should have all eyes here. All right, so let's uh, let's get at this. Go to the one that says top ten goals. No, 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 no. Flip that over. Go to the one that says scrub. Scrub. Okay. Specific. Specific goal. Juan, what's the goal you have? Okay. Pretty good. That's a really good goal, isn't it? Kyle Scott. Now, specific. Through basketball, I want to play for such and such. I'm going to get a degree in blah, blah, blah. Now, you may not know all that, but the more specific you can get, the better it is. Does everyone understand that? Measurable. Maybe Davis here wants to be the leading scorer in his conference or his district. Okay, well, that's good, but how many points is that going to take? Can he average four games and get it done? Can he, does he have to average 25? But those are the measurable parts of this. Did we get that? Okay, attainable. Now, I told you to think big, but my man Ryan here has a goal to be a millionaire one day. That's awesome. Good job. Let me show you my cup. <laughs> but he wants to be a millionaire by Friday. Is there a lot of real realism in that? Okay, unless he's in the model, take his heart. He's not even old enough to buy it. Does that make sense? So, to some degree, there's got to be some realism. Okay? Relevant. Is it relevant to what you want to be and what you want to do in life and your values? Does that make sense? Ryan here, maybe he's a very strong, devoted Christian man that believes in what the Bible says, but his goal is to be a pool shark. Or a kind you know, there's something wrong in life. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Okay? Or he's gonna be, you know, on a liquor store. That kind of goes against what his beliefs are. Does that make sense? You gotta think about that. What's part is it against what you believe, okay? Time sensitive. If you're not putting a deadline on your goals, it's just a someday, one day thing. One day I'm gonna be this, one day I'm gonna do this, someday I wanna be. That day never comes. Time just keeps going by, you're still waiting for someday to come. Set goals with time. Does that make sense? Now it's a goal. Take the next five minutes. Do not hold back from anything. If it is an idea that comes to your head, put it on paper. All right? And you can even write in the spot where it says goal and deadline if you need room. But don't worry about what it says cat. We didn't talk about categories. That's a little above and beyond. But write a goal and write a deadline. Try to fill this paper. Go. Anything that comes to your mind. Things that you want to do. Places you want to go. Things that you want to have, people you want to meet. Um, if it comes to your mind, write it down. Cross that one out right now. All right, listen. I can say this. One, I know you kind of just shout out, but don't forget your deadline. That's important. When you want to do it, like, you don't do it now. It's right. Okay. Two, I can say right now, all of you need to be more specific. Okay? More specific. Now, here's the other side of it. You need to take those three, those top three, and put them somewhere where you're going to remember them, where you can see them every day and let them remind you. 
okay? Mine are on my mirror, in my bathroom. So I wake up in the morning, I thank God for today, thank God for my family, I look over, I see them, it makes me happy. I go in the mirror, I say, what's going on, handsome? How you doing? All right? Y'all should be that. I'm not saying for all of you. You know what? You should be the first person to tell yourself each day that you're intelligent, handsome, and, and, and a great athlete, whatever it is that you believe you are. If you're not the first person telling yourself that every day, then you're waiting for someone to tell you that. No one's filled up your cup. See, that's filling up your cup. That your cup of confidence. Confidence comes for humans, and you got to feed that. Does that make sense? For some, it's easier than others, but everybody has to be fed. Everybody's got to get their cup poured into. Right, one? Yes. You should be the first person to look at me. Look yourself in the eyes and tell yourself whatever you think you want. Positive. Does that make sense? Tell yourself you're going to have a great day. You'll be surprised how much more confidence you walk around on each day and how much more you accomplish and how you approach things. That's what real swagger is. Have a complete confidence in yourself. Swagger's not skinny jeans, tattooed, and some funny looking sunglasses. <laughs> and, and being able to make up a dance. That's not swagger. Swagger is being very confident and true in yourself. Now, I know we're taught to be humble and, and walk in humility, and that's true. That means you can't be confident in yourself. See, the difference is confidence and conceited. Conceited is when you let the world know you're great through your mouth instead of your actions. Does that make sense? Confidence means that you walk and believing in your abilities in the 100%. And believing God made you to be the way you are to be successful. That's what swag is. Everybody should have that. You should be the first to feed that when you look in the mirror anymore. Does that make sense? And then after I get done doing that, about two or three hours, I'm just sure, two three minutes. I look at those, those goals. And I remind myself of what I'm trying to accomplish. And I start thinking about what actions do I need to take? What person do I need to be today? to get myself closer to that, because that's critical. In the day of, today we have Facebook, TV, radio, iPod, phones, uh, Twitter, uh, it's just constant bombardment of information. And it's easy to get sidetracked because your mind only holds so much information at a time. So you need to constantly remind yourself of your goals and where you're trying to go. Otherwise you get sidetracked, Next thing you know, that deadline you hit, you're not one step closer to that goal. I've been there. I've done it. I don't do it anymore because I learned from that. And that's the other side of it. When you hit a goal, you go back, you figure out what worked for you, and then you set another goal, and you use that same method to perfect your method of achieving goals. When I first started setting goals, I wasn't too good at it. I'll, I'll admit that. I didn't make hits with goals. And after a while, I kept practicing it, the things that worked, I kept doing that. Now I hit goals pretty consistently. Check this out. I had a goal of getting 40 people here. 35 to 40, right? Yesterday morning, I was at 15. What was my number one goal yesterday? 35 to 40. That's all I thought about this I, I, I read it, I thought about it, I was brushing my teeth, I just imagined it, the actions I need to take, the people I need to call, the parents I need to email, what I need to put on Facebook to spread the word. There's 35 to 40 people here today. All about focus, as we talked earlier, and then put in the work in the do. Now tomorrow, we're going to talk about the other side. See, there's a do that you have to do. There's do's and actions you got to take to reach goals. And then there's a big part, who you have to be. If you're not a focused person, if you're not a disciplined person, if you don't have a good work ethic, you reach goals, is going to be hard. So we'll talk about the things that are very important to success as far as reaching goals. Are we at? And then Thursday, we'll talk about high performance, how to perform on a high level daily, do everything you do, and how to perform high at a high level in games. Does that make sense? Right. Make sure you take these home. Here's the other thing. Talk about it with people. Don't keep these a secret. We're willing to tell the world, express the world, and be surprised how that makes a commitment out of you. Does that make sense? What really drives you commitment? If you sit and you don't tell anybody about this in your little secret, you're ashamed of it. How, how motivated are you to get work for? If I go and tell my best friend, Ryan, Ryan, man, watch this. I'm about to win district of golf. Well, I gotta hold myself to that because every time I look in Ryan's eyes, I know that I told him that. Does that make sense? So 
don't be afraid to take your goals to your friends and family or whoever's important to you. Okay? Alright. All the pens 